According to credible and reliable sources, he was not killed for humanitarian purposes, but for power, oil, and money. Gaddafi suffered torture from the Western National Transitional Forces before finally giving up the ghost at the Battle of Sirte. If Gaddafi had succeeded to establish such a monetary system in Africa, the United States of America, Asia, and Europe would have been forced to buy oil and minerals in the African gold-backed currency, which would have tipped up sales. Gaddafi was strongly pushing this agenda via the African Union, especially when he was the chairman in 2009. The idea was greatly turned down by the Western powers because it will devalue their currencies and work negatively on their economies, and as a result they would have less or no control over African countries. In other words, Gaddafi's plans for Africa would have put an end to neocolonialism. NATO's plan to kill Gaddafi is the same as that of Iraqi leader Saddam Hussein. Saddam Hussein was assassinated by the U.S. partly because he chose to sell his country's oil in the euro currency at the expense of the United States dollars. Now the United States was scared and skeptical about the instability the gold dinar will cause to its economy. Hussein's decision to sell oil in the euro was a blow to the United States worsened by the proclamation that the dollar was the currency of the enemy. All these would have brought back another currency war, which in history was very common, especially in intra-Western and Middle East countries. According to the International Monetary Fund's report, Libya's central bank in 2011 possessed an estimated amount of 144 tons of gold in its vaults. Mohammed Gaddafi's plan was to introduce a gold-backed currency, which he previewed that all African and Muslim nations will adopt. Although he had this in mind, he felt it could be some sort of rivalry with the euro and dollars. How the United States got to know about the gold dinar. A senior advisor to the United States President, Sidney Blumenthal, indicated to his Secretary General, Hillary Clinton, through an email that Gaddafi's government was holding 143 tons of gold and similar amounts of silver in their bank. In late March 2011, these stocks were taken to the southwest direction of Libya's border with Niger and Chad. More heat was added to the matter when former French President Nicolas Sarkozy, who also had interest in Libya, learned about the gold and silver that the country had. He also, therefore, embarked on attacking Libya. Some of Sarkozy's plans was to gain a share in Libyan oil production, to increase their French influence in this country and North Africa, to improve his internal political situation in France, to provide the French military with a chance to regain its position in the world, and to address Gaddafi's plans of freeing the so-called Francophone Africa from the parasitic French control. Hillary Clinton, the then United States Secretary of State, after hearing this, sought to prevent creation of such a currency in Africa. This hard currency would have allowed Africa to shake off the last heavy chains of colonial exploitation in the continent. The allegedly leaked email of Hillary Clinton had far-reaching implications on the fluid state of post-colonial relations with the West. If this is to be likened to something, then it is an eye-opener. Where Africa seeks to build an independent economic structure, the West is seen to try and derail those plans so as to retain its primacy in world affairs. That is why Gaddafi saw an unexpected death due to his desire to get Africa and Muslim states a new currency. If you are just joining us, then you are watching the real reason why Gaddafi was killed. Gaddafi was murdered because he, along with the other African heads of state, were about to bring into existence Africa's first central bank, which was going to back its money to the resources under the ground in Africa. Now, what would that have done to the global economic order? Remember, the United States dollar isn't backed on any natural resource. The British pound isn't backed on any natural, natural resource. Uh, the Canadian dollar, the European Union, their currency isn't backed on any natural resource because Europe doesn't have a lot of natural resources. Africa does. So if they would have been successful in creating a central bank of Africa, coming up with a unitary currency and then backing that currency to the material wealth under the soil, they would have bankrupt every other economic system in this world from America to Europe to China. And that's why Muammar Gaddafi had to be assassinated. Let us talk more about the gold dinar, a groundbreaking dream for Africa. Gaddafi's objective of this new currency 
was to divert oil revenues towards the state-controlled funds rather than American banks. In other words, it was aimed at stopping the use of the dollar for oil transactions in African countries, most especially Nigeria, Tunisia, Egypt, and Angola. In fact, these countries were ready to change their currencies as soon as the golden dinar was launched. Unfortunately, in March 2011, NATO or the North Atlantic Treaty Organization coalition forces began a military action in Libya in the name of freedom and humanitarian concerns. Unfortunately, many ignorant Libyans listened and believed the Western media instead of backing their leader. Gaddafi succeeded to rule Libya for over 42 years because he managed to gain support of many Libyan tribes by providing them with free water, almost free gasoline, free health system, as well as cheap and affordable education. Gaddafi's death marked the end of an African dream. Muhammad Gaddafi wanted to stay away from American influence in his oil transactions by using the golden dinar. He launched a project for this currency and other African nations were ready to give him massive support. This was an African dream, but at the same time, it was going to be a nightmare for Western banking, which greatly benefits the USA. We can definitively say that the Gaddafi regime has come to an end. The world is a better place with Gaddafi gone. If you have studied African history, then you must have heard of Muammar Gaddafi, the famous Libyan revolutionist and politician. If not, then learn about him from this video. Muammar Muhammad Abu Minyar al-Gaddafi, commonly known as Muammar Gaddafi, was a great African revolutionary leader, born on June 7, 1942, in Qasr Abu Hadi in Libya. Gaddafi led Libya for 42 years, that is, from 1969 to 2011. It is good to note that his rule ended when he was captured and killed on October 20, 2011, after the Battle of Sirte. Many people attached his death to several causes or reasons, but in this video, you shall discover the real reason why he was killed. Gaddafi was captured by the National Transitional Council forces in Libya and was killed after several accusations. Looking at the number of reasons why Muhammad Gaddafi was killed, you might begin to wonder if this was because of excess dictatorship, and if it was, then you might also wonder the type of leadership such a dictator had. Before his death, Muammar Gaddafi went to take refuge in a large drainage pipe, accompanied by a good number of bodyguards. When the National Transitional Council fighters came, they opened which saw the demise of the long-hunted Gaddafi. Here is the real reason why he was killed. As earlier mentioned, Gaddafi was killed after being accused of several actions and attempts most especially his desire to put forth an African gold-backed currency known as the Gold Dinar. 